What's going on, Vault Dwellers? Top ranking noob here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Black Rider Power Armor skin. I know I'm a few days late, but this last patch had a lot of stuff going on with it, so I'm getting there as fast as I can. Nonetheless, if you guys want to check out some cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. They got a lot of cool items, so I'm going to be putting their link down in the description, along with the coupon code that's going to be saving you 5%. Now this, uh, this power armor skin, not to be confused with the paint job, is available right now at the Atomic Shop. You may have already seen it. It's been there for a few days, but as I mentioned, that Tuesday patch has been a big one. So I'm still trying to catch up with all the details on this patch. Uh, 1,400 atoms. I, I keep wanting to say caps. <laughs> 1,400 atoms is quite a bit. If you don't already have those atoms, that's $14 worth of atoms. So it's quite a bit of an investment. And the photos in these uh, these examples don't really do the power armor justice in this case. They don't really give you a good view. And that's why I like to make these videos. I like to give you a better view of these power armor skins so that you can decide whether or not you want to invest those atoms into this item. So we're going to go ahead and pick this, uh, this skin up and we'll take a closer look into it. Now again, just like the other two uh, power armor skins from the Four Horsemen series that's already released, which is going to be the War Rider and the Plague Rider, uh, just like those two power armor skins, this is a skin not to be confused with a paint job. The difference being is that you can put this on any power armor set you want. It doesn't matter if you're doing X01, uh, Raider, in case you're using Raider power armor. I use my Excavator as my display power armor set. Uh, it doesn't matter which power armor you put it on. The end result, it's going to look exactly the same. And that's the difference between the skin and the paint job. I know some people really enjoy that. Some people aren't necessarily a fan of it. But ultimately, it is what it is. It's not necessarily a bad thing. So here's a closer look at it. Uh, I did get some feedback from some of my other videos that uh, the cinematic camera angles I was trying to go for really weren't helping you guys get a good view of it. So I'm going to try to do a little bit more basic camera angles uh, and give you guys a solid view. Uh, it looks pretty cool in my mind. I think so far this might be my favorite out of the four horsemen. Uh, I believe these decals on the, the skin are supposed to be fire, but because of the color of the power armor... In my mind, it looks a lot more like smoke, which is still pretty cool. Uh, I honestly don't think the, the pictures inside the Atomic Shop have really done this power armor set any real justice. Uh, it doesn't have as much like of that demonic detail as the War Rider, uh, but it's still pretty cool, almost in its simplicity. I gotta be honest, I wasn't all that excited about this power armor when I was looking at the pictures, but now that it's out and I'm looking at it, I think it's pretty cool. The back side of this is pretty plain, as you can see, though. There's not a lot of decal going in on the back. So looking from the power armor from the back side, which if you play in third-person view is pretty much going to be your main view, uh, there's not a whole lot to really look at. All the coolness of this power armor is really on the front. You can see, like, uh, on the, the shoulder pads here, it's got kind of a more of a twisted uh metal look to it i'm not even sure if this what what power armor is this supposed to be is this supposed to be t51 i would say so but the the main takeaway from this entire power armor i think has got to be the helmet which is actually when i was looking at the pictures the part i was least excited about uh one of the things the pictures didn't really illustrate very well was the like if i back out a bit the the skull like helmet i think uh, the, the mask kind of looked like it was all one color in most of the pictures versus that skull actually has like that bone look to it, which is awesome. I'm also using the Resolute, uh, veteran in this video just because I needed to make a retraction. That's that three star legendary I said you had to do in, um, survival mode. But for whatever reason this week, you could actually do it in adventure mode as well. I don't know if Bethesda did that on purpose or it's a glitch. I'll put a link down to that video, though. It's a really simple three-star legendary to grab up. The stats aren't really all that good, but you could either sell it or turn it into the vendor if you don't want it. Nonetheless, here's another look at the backside. We're going to go do a couple of rounds here, give you the opportunity to decide what you think. Nonetheless, I'll pan out for a bit. <clears throat> My goal here, again, is to give you a better view of the power armor so you can decide whether or not you want to put the money towards it or the caps or the atoms towards it. Whatever currency it costs in order to pick this damn thing up. 
So with that being said, I hope you guys did find this video helpful. And if you did, I hope you'd consider giving this video a thumbs up. Also, su subscribe to the channel and hit that bell if you haven't done so already. That way you'll be notified anytime I have new uploads. If you're new to my channel, I do my best to create helpful guides and instructional videos for Fallout 76. Nonetheless, I appreciate you all hanging out with me today, and we will see you all next time.